You are now watching NTV at One. We are live online and on air. Let's get right into it. Finance State Minister David Bahati has been explaining to Parliament's Legal Committee why his ministry could not offer a certificate of financial implication to Undora West MP Wilfred Nwagaba over his planned constitutional amendment bill. Bahati explained that the ministry was concerned that Nwagaba's bill has a charge on the consolidated fund. Such bills can only be moved by government. Let's head over to Parliament and listen in. Needed about 13.4 billion to establish the Commission of Inquiry. The, the Constitutional Review Commission. Is that money available for next financial year before you make a case? for government to take over not only this constitutional amendment there is another one of Paul Miru, Honorable Paul Miru. there is another one of Wadur which is of course I don't know whether you've given financial implication the other one is just to include the Marigori community some Kenyans who have been this way for over 80 years and they are settled in Syria and uh, those people have been waiting for constitutional review so that they, their views are taken so that they are, so can the minister, and this is the committee that is making an appeal on behalf of that minister, can he avail the 13 billion, 13.5 billion for the minister of justice to constitute the commission of inquiry? I think Mr. Bakweka has come to confirm that the money is needed, yes. <laughs> Government's failure to establish a constitutional review commission. Uh, the messages have been loud and clear. People have been shouting. They are host, their voice is hoarse for a constitutional review commission. So we want to say that the, this private member's bill is as a result of failure of government to put a constitutional review commission in place. Over to you, Mr. Minister. One, I wanted to first lay the, the opinion of the Attorney General. Before the committee about to the, our rule of 60 and uh, about the, the, our rules of parliament regarding the 60 days and also the constitution requirement. Uh, the second is uh, one on the issue of the specifics that we raised about the cost implications, one regarding the panel of speakers. We do support the, the panel of speakers because it is uh, it will be very helpful given the circumstances we are in that you cannot have all the the, the, the speaker and the, the speaker all the time so it will be it will be very helpful but also it is uh, not true that you can have a pan of speakers which is cost free uh, you need the, you need to buy a gown for him, you need, <laughs> you need to have a cup, you know, so it cannot be cost free whatsoever. Well, that's the latest coming in from Parliament as the Finance Ministry explains why it couldn't offer a certificate of financial implication to the Indora West MP, that is Wilfred Nwagaba, over his planned, uh, that is, constitutional amendment bill.